What is up, everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Trucking and Transportation. I'm sitting outside of uh, Henderson, Nevada. I'm not sure if any of you guys that have been driving have been to this little railroad pass, casino, truck stop, but that's where I'm sitting. About six miles away from our delivery at the uh, coal storage place out here. Uh, it's about 7.30 in the morning. Our appointment's at 12.15. And we pulled in here last night at about 3.30, something like that. So we've had a good chance to sit. Time for my co-driver to get a 34. Uh, so anyway, uh, we were supposed to take a load out of Springfield going to, because I just left the terminal, uh, going to New Jersey. Paying a little bit better than this load, but that load was running behind schedule. And I wasn't going to pick up a load that was going to be tight that I was going to have to be worried about. So I told him to take that off of me. I jumped on this. Nothing's better than heavy, cheap freight. So jumped on this uh, Ben and Jerry's load and came out to uh, Henderson, Nevada. Now, <clears throat> we ran out here, you know, as fast as we could. And a lot of people are like, well, Lyle, why'd you run out there so fast if you had all this time to get there? You know, one thing I know about my fleet manager is... A lot of times if I get somewhere like this where I'm, you know, over 12 hours early or something like that, uh, there's going to be a chance that I'm going to pick up a repower for some reason or another. Uh, that didn't happen in this case, but what it did do, uh, like I said, was allow my co-driver to get a 34. Now that might flip him back over the night, so hopefully he's ready for that, but uh, allowed him to get a 34 and uh, allowed me to get some of that good sleep. And I was getting that sleep like, you know, when you be slobbering and shit and your pillow's all jacked up, that's the kind of sleep I was getting. So I'm glad I got out here early. As a matter of fact, so uh, I might try to take another nap before we go deliver this bad boy. So uh, anyway, just wanted to give that update. Wanted to uh, give a shout out to uh, everybody knows who Junior Hernandez is. He, uh, spotlighted me on his channel I was that was a fun interview to do with him and everybody that I met up at the terminal it was a uh, good meeting a lot of people up there my man Henry who I met when he first got the prime finally upgraded to his uh, Peterbilt with 5,000 miles uh, so that's a good deal and you know that's another thing to kind of talk about you know Henry's an older guy sort of like myself and he spent a little bit longer time in training than he actually had to. And that's one thing that I've seen to be finding is it seems like a lot of the younger people are just in such a hurry to get out on their own. And, you know, a lot of the older people, and I, like I said, this could just be the people I'm talking to, but a lot of the older people that I've been speaking to are more actually worried about getting trained than getting off the truck. So big ups to all the people that are out there trying to... Uh, get the training and not get off the truck. Uh, outside of this load just being heavy as shit, every time I get one of these ice cream loads or one of these loads where it has to be like negative something degrees, first of all, you're going to run through some fuel, but then it's like every single time you get reefer alarms. So now, you know, I'm having to pull over and see, you know, what's going on with the reefer and stuff like that. So that might be another reason I just don't like these loads. I mean, it does put you in a good reload area, so uh, I'm not sure if we're going to get something out of here going to California, if we're going to dead head out to California, but uh, we got the hours to do some damage on it this time, so hopefully we're going to get something and uh, go coast to coast, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, just wanted to give y'all a quick update. Appreciate you guys stopping by No Hippie Trucking and Transportation. I appreciate it. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.